Bear and Acadiana is Ali Bear. 708. Time to check in with Al Abair. He is in Maurice this morning. He's at Pinchers, one of his favorite spots. He's had a lot of great things. Gumbo, hallelujah bread. Uh, we've done eggs and rice, which is new. Never heard of that. What about now, Al? What are you doing? What are you working on? So, Alex, eggs and rice, very big down here. You should <laughs> fix that for Chase one day. He would love that. Uh, so now we're doing redfish, Alex. Uh, first of all, Kevin Cologne, tell us about what, what we have here. Yeah, so we've got uh, a filet of redfish that we've got seasoned with our own uh, blend of seasoning. Um, we've got a little bit of garlic butter on it. Uh, we're going to grill it so it's nice and crisp on the outside and flaky on the inside. Um, and then we're sauteing some mushrooms. Uh, we've got some julienne mushrooms, uh, some sliced onions, and then some golf shrimp. And so uh, we're essentially going to take this filet of redfish and we're going to top it with all of those lovely, oh, wow. uh, lovely toppings and uh, we serve it with a side. It's available on our menu, uh, lunch and dinner. Um, so if you're a redfish fan, you definitely should check it so out. So I, th I think everybody out here is a redfish fan. I think uh, so. Hey, let me ask you. You know, you and I were talking during the break. I said, hey, you know, did you go to culinary school? You did not go to culinary school. I did not, no. I uh, just kind of picked up on things, um, you know, as, as I grew up in the industry and, you know, watching at home um, and just kind of, you know, made things uh, my own and uh, kind of put them together in the way that I would like to eat them. You know, and I love that because, you know, I, I think if kids pay attention in the kitchen, you can end up like Kevin with a very successful restaurant. Very true. Uh, so is, I mean, I know the, I keep going back to the hallelujah bread. That was just so incredibly good. But so many of these things come from your mom, come from your grandmother. And I, what about this? Is this something they did at home or is this something you kind of put together? Uh, just something that I've uh, put together. Just to feed feedback your guests, you know, in the restaurant. You know, you, this is one of those things where, you know, people are always looking for, a, like, a fresh fish option, um, you know, or something on the healthier side. So, you know, it's, it's one of those things where we can kind of pair a bunch of flavors together um, and offer it in a way, you know, that's appealing to, you know, anybody who loves fish. Pair it with a glass of Pinot Grigio uh, and you're wow. set for date night. I love that. I love Wow, and that's exactly what I would do if I were single. You have somebody like him make this, you come pick it up, put it in your plates at home, get some wine, and you look like, oh my God, this guy's a, he's a great cook. Yeah, okay, that's a, that's my strategy for single people <laughs> out there. Hey, you know what, uh, you guys, you guys, you don't have a, a plate lunch every day? We do. Uh, so uh, Monday through Friday, we offer a plate lunch um, for lunch from 11 until 2 o'clock. Um, we try to change it up, you know, um, we've got a few staples that stay consistent from week yeah. to week, like Tuesdays we always do a potato soup. Oh, this I love potato year, soup. Uh, it, the weather's great for it. Um, and then uh, on Fridays our staple is fried fish topped with crawfish a Oh, I love fried fish. Okay, look, we're going to go back to the studio. Look, this is amazing food. It smells so good in here. I wish you could smell this. Uh, but back to you, Alex and Adam. Hey. Looking good over there, Al. Uh, can't wait to circle back, check in, see how it's going.